Hello and welcome. It's Jelly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm coming to you with a nice bright uplifting pour because those are what I love to do. What I'm doing here, I'm just going to mix this while you watch me, this particular one. I've mixed the silver with white so I get this sort of pale grey but it's um, then got the metallic in it so it'll be a bit of sheeny. Now I am trying the global pouring medium um, professional effect. So I'm trying a bit of the global pouring medium in this particular just the base coat and the other pouring medium is in the recipe in the drop down box but I just wanted to see because somebody told me that this adding this pouring medium will make the dried paint really glossy so I've got this you can get this online from Capriol Shabby Chic so um, yeah I was sent all of these to try so I will give an honest opinion I mean I love the global paints I started off when I first started pouring with global paints I use all kinds of paint brands so as everybody has a choice and can see the results from them all but I do love the global range they've got some lovely colors they come out with different different colors periodically so I've added that pouring medium and I'm not sure whether I should add some of my I think I might add my um, this is the 70% clear glue 30% water I think I might add a bit of that and I might add a bit of Floetrol as well um, I think back a while ago like oh, more than a year ago I bought some of that and I'm pretty sure that I used it as a gloss coating on my finished work I've done so many now that I can't remember them all but um, I have to have a, a look at that but yeah so this is ooh, way too thick so I might add a little bit more of that my glue and water mix the recipe is in the drop down box uh, with that pouring medium and then if it's still a bit thick I'll add a little bit of Floetrol and a little bit of water I guess so I've got my Aussie, Aussie flow troll in this smaller container, I call it my liquid gold. I've always called it liquid gold because yeah, it's kind of added to basically any paint. It still makes, it makes lacing more than cells. It is a paint extender flow troll. It's not actually a paint uh, purpose pouring medium. It's a paint extender but it definitely helps create cells. Now, putting that white and silver together has given me absolute gorgeous, sheeny, shiny luster in this paint. So I'm liking the glittery bits. So I will, because I do want this a little bit thicker, but not too thick if you get my drift. So there you go, I put those aside and get on with this pour and I'll explain the colours as I go along. I have used the global colours so move that up a little bit so it's in the frame for you and I am going to try and leave a bit of negative space so as you know that's difficult for me anybody that knows me knows that I don't like leaving any part of the canvas uncovered but I'm going to try and um, leave a little bit of negative space but I want a lot of brightness I love my brights so 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 reusing a pair of gloves just blow into them to um, make them reusable blow into them you can actually you if you have not got a balloon I know lots of people say oh I'll come to do a balloon but I haven't got a balloon you can just blow up a glove tie it off and use your balloon to do a balloon kiss oops <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah that works too just instead of the bloopers okie doke let's give this a real good mix it's still very very thick very thick so I might add a drop just water just H2O 
always keep some water in a container handy so if you need to add water you've got it right there obviously adding water the less is better because you um, and then stir then add some more blah 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 so okay that's pretty it just leaves a little bit of a trace but it's still just thought I'd, I know that I get so many requests for the paint consistency and I've done lots of videos there are videos in my playlist so I have colors all pre-made there that I've done a few pours with over the last few days so it is using up paints that I've used previous pours so here we go we'll cover this lovely light gray on here where's my spatula there come on Tula that's a nice name isn't it Tula so it's, it sounds a bit posher than spatula so I'm getting my Tula Tula's joining me in this lovely spreading out of the that is gorgeous colour all silliness aside that is a gorgeous colour and I've got a gooby bit in there never mind never mind the goobers so I might just leave a bit of I might do another colour up there which would probably but that's gorgeous so that's your white and silver and it just makes the most gorgeous shade sort of a grey silver you could add a dab of black if you wanted it to go more of a grey colour a darker grey I will worry about my sides afterwards so I just can go over them with my fingers so I will just spread it nice and easy easy peasy there you go what about I add ooh, some of this this is the um, I put a bit of leftover in there it was the ultraviolet and then I had a bit of pink left over from my Amsterdam paints and I put it I just put it in there so there you go it's got a bit of pink in as well it doesn't really change the color I have put in these paints the uh, iridescent medium just a splodge it gives a really nice uh, lustrous sparkling finish so I'm going to just add this lovely um, ultraviolet colour up here goes perfect with the grey perfect oh that's really lovely really nice just sort of go over my edges before it dries much further this was one that I did the other day that dried I don't want to put my paint fingers on it absolutely it dried absolutely lovely it's uh, yeah really really dried nice that actually looks quite glossy but I will give this a coat of gloss in a week or so and um, bring it up lovely so that can be hung either way that was a really nice one. I will put the link to that particular piece in the drop down box or the first comment. I will put that. So, very, very happy with that one. And um, yeah, that's sort of got a home already or will have a home when I finished it. So, here we go now. This is just because I put the luster in the um, ultraviolet, too, it's just shimmering just shimmering so this was my um, berry delicious that I made out of magenta a, a blob of phthalo blue and a blob of black if you want it to go darker so it's a really black cherry looking uh, color so I love it I want plenty of it in there Plenty, plenty. Oh, now, contrast. Right on it. Okay, this absolute delicious, delicious orange. 
that again has that iridescent medium in to give it the shimmer shimmer me timbers So I've really uh, seen a really nice big canvas on sale today and I'm kicking myself that I didn't buy it. Um, so I may go back and see if it's still there, which they usually are not. But anyway, so this is a little bit of turquoise that I have left and I'm just going to do some swirls because I don't want it to overtake the other colours. So, and then I'm going to add a little bit of that magenta okay I think that will do it except just a bit of white which my white ooh, oh here we go I have the white I just have it pre-made up in this container I'm needing to it's just made up with my normal pouring medium that's in the drop down box the uh, recipe so we'll put a fair bit of this in okay now will I or won't I I think I will I will try my cards. I'm going to do a card swipe with it. save that bit then I'll do a little bit of a card swipe on that These colours are so yummy. I'm just going to try this. This is just a piece of cardboard. See if these swipes can get them to come out a little bit. Oh, I might just... This is my uh, Amsterdam White and Floetrol. So I'm going to... Pre-made up. So I'm going to just see if I can get some lacing happening in these swipes. Let me try. kind of doing the Aussie card slide Whew. the colours are definitely jillified look at that wowzers trousers Wow. Oh, I like it. I like it. Oh, it's just added. Oh, it looks like a landscape, actually. I'm just thinking now. Oh, wow. It looks really like a landscape with the different colours of the um, sunset or sunrise. Just thinking if I can add to that, that I'll 
course I'm going to add to it in this way, but I know that um, this is the way I love, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do these off-centred balloon kissing. My favourite, favourite thing. To go off a bit, either side, so it's... can do some little ones there. Cells are going crazy. Um, right, teeny tiny, teeny tiny balloon, which has just got a bit of water in it. It just put, pressing them in the already uh, balloon kissed with the bigger one just adds a little bit of definition in there, like little petals in there. It looks so cool. So, so you spent ages trying painting those little petals in there, but you obviously haven't. Beautiful, love it, love it, love it, love it. Wow, I like it. What do you think, guys? Again, I will bring you down so you can see the shimmer in my paint. But I love that one. I love it. And here you go. Here is the shimmer. I'm not sure why I'm getting those little cells, uh, the white cells, because there is no silicone in this whatsoever. But look at those gorgeous balloon kissing in there, and those colours, just gorgeous. There's my husband just arriving. You see the shimmer in the colours? It's beautiful. I love it. It's a keeper. So wait on for the dried photos, and thank you for joining me. Until tomorrow, bye for now. Take care. Okay, I have just decided to <laughs> go that one step further as you do and just take my spatula to it, take out the um, balloon kissing and create some Aussie, well, it's Aussie, Aussie, Aussie spatula slide, not Aussie card slide. Um, doesn't look so good through back through the um, ultra violet purple colour. I just thought take the balloon kisses out and just try something different with it again. So this is obviously what you can do with your own work. You just go as far or as less as you want. But I just just had this inkling that this is what I wanted to do. So you just do it. Remember, it's your art room, your rules, your way. So I took them out. I'm just having a merry old time here. Enjoying it. love it. I'm going to do this type again without, I'm going to use my spatula to swipe. I'll probably still put some little teeny tiny balloons in there, I don't know what they'll come out. That's taken the paint off a bit now. It doesn't actually look like balloon kissing but it just gives it a bit of I like it. I like it. What do you think, guys? Oh, I like it. Look at that. I really like that. Well, let me know what you think. You've got it two ways. <laughs> um, you can do it any way you choose, but I like that. It's a little added bonus footage at the end. <laughs>